Hey guys, Alex here. Today we're going to cover clips. So what are clips? I'm going to go into it during this video. I'm going to show you all the clips that are available as well. I'm going to show you the pricing, uh, basically another form of how to hack a college degree. You know, you have ACE credits, which I've gone over with a hundred videos now and nine months worth of content. And you can check out uh, my other videos, what ACE credits are, that's the American Council of Education, and then partner schools accept those classes as a uh, college credit. They're classes you can do in you know two, three, four days each, and you can get like 90 college credits basically in a matter of six months or less, and then transfer it into a school, which is an amazing cheat code. That is still the preferred method. Uh, CLEPS is more if you want to go to a, a like more normal school, you know, like maybe you wanna to go to an actual physical school, or like a much, much more like well-known school that has an online component. So most of those schools will accept CLEP to some degree, especially a public state university, but even most of the non-public ones will still accept CLEPs. They will have a limit. Each school is different with how what the hard limit of CLEPs are. Um, I'd have to double check what the limit is, but most of them will accept at least around 20 credits. So if you really want to get a leg on like, let's say you're going to college, you're 18. Uh, if you really want to get a leg up on all your friends and you want to graduate faster or you want to get into the workforce faster, you know, graduate college faster, you know, this can eliminate at least at least one semester off your time and probably a full year off your time. It depends how much credit the college is going to accept, but you could probably eliminate a full year off your college and save a year of tuition, uh, which is like if you're going to a normal school uh, in person, tuition is extremely expensive. So just imagine saving like $15,000, you know, $15,000 saved at least, and you get to graduate a year faster. So, CLEP exams are basically exactly how they sound. They are exams that you must know enough to pass it. You must study really, really hard. Um, instead of taking a four month class at a college, it all comes down to one exam and you can take it anytime you want. So these exams are not exactly easy. You have to know your stuff, right? It's like the four months of that class is in one exam that you would take at a college. Some people are better at studying than others though. So instead of taking a class for four months, if you're really good at studying and really good at test taking, let's say you study your butt off, you know, just study, study, study for like two weeks, right? And two to two and a half weeks, you really study, you really digest all the information, all the study methods you can imagine, such as flashcards and, you know, just really uh, reading over and over and just Taking practice tests, you know, I would make sure find some CLEP practice test material that there's plenty of good resources on the internet, YouTube, etc. So I'll probably even develop a CLEP practice test, uh, CLEP practice test myself, and I'll probably release that to you guys as well. So uh, CLEPs, if you want to go to a public state university, it's a great way to hack college. And if you want to go to some of my schools that I like, like Western Governors University and the school that I graduated from, Thomas Edison State University, which is a public state university of New Jersey, I would use ACE credits, which you can check out on my website, majormash.com. Also, if you want to prepare for these CLEP tests, study.com has uh, like a CLEP study session that you can do. Like they have like these little mini courses that you can do to prepare you for CLEP exams and they have CLEP practice tests. So if you want to get on a study.com membership, I have 30% off for three months that you can use in the description. Also, you can get college credit this way as well. You can get ACE credits. So you can take college level courses and transfer them into college. So if you want more information on study.com, you can watch my other videos as well and also check out my website. So now I'm going to go into a screen recording and I'm going to show you what CLEP exams are available. I will go over in future videos what schools will accept CLEP exams because I do want to do a deeper dive into CLEP exams. This video is just going over what are CLEP exams um, and what type of CLEP exams are available. So this is like a basically very introductory video as the title states. So let's get into a screen recording right now and I'll show you 
what CLEP exams are available, and what courses they would transfer in as. As we are on the screen recording page, and this is the CLEP page, which is part of collegeboard.org. So in my other videos, I go over ACE credits, which ACE credits you can transfer into online universities, uh, such as Western Governors University, Thomas Edison State University, which is a public state university of New Jersey, which is where I graduated from. And you can do like 90 ACE credits. These classes you can do in like two, three, four days each and transfer 90 college credits within a six month period, which is a huge college cheat code. Now with CLEP, you can't transfer in that many credits. Uh, these schools all have some hard caps, but some of them are more generous than others. Some you could transfer in up to 30, 40 credits. Uh, and if you enroll in college already, in, like you're bored during the summer, you can actually take these exams and still transfer them into your college, uh, depending on the college. So instead of taking a four-month class, you can take one of these exams, get three college credits, boom. You know, let's say you're 18 years old watching this video, guys. And you're 18 years old watching this video, and you want to leg up on all your friends. You want to graduate college early. You want to get into the workforce early. You know, if you take a lot of these, you can shave a whole year off your college, a whole year. It depends how much credits the college will accept from CLEPS, but you can shave a whole year off and save an entire year of tuition. You can save $15,000 off of tuition. So I'm going to show you what courses you can transfer in here. And one thing about tuition, guys, is in-person school is really expensive. Some schools are like $60,000 for a bachelor degree. And I don't recommend anybody go that far in debt for a bachelor degree. You know, maybe years ago and years ago where you're like almost guaranteed to pay it off just by having a college degree, but that's not really the case anymore. Uh, more and more people are going to college and $60,000 in my opinion is not exactly worth it, but it all depends. So by hacking college in this method, which I think will get more and more mainstream as time goes on, not a, not a lot of people know about degree hacking. Not a lot of people know about hacking college. Not a lot of people know about saving money and graduating faster, where you can graduate college in 18 months or less and save basically 70% of your tuition money. You know, get a college degree for $15,000 or less, go to college for under two years, and boom, you know, get into the workforce faster, way less debt to pay off, you know, get a bachelor degree at 20 years old, or however, however old you are. You know, so a lot of you probably did not have guidance. Like if you're 18 to 20 watching this video, you probably didn't have guidance. Like, hey, going $60,000 in debt is massive. Okay. That is massive. When you're 18, you don't really think about it. You're like, oh yeah, I'll pay that off when I get my job. You don't really realize how much money that is, you know? So it takes a long time to pay off and your stress level is going to be through the roof. So I think degree hacking is going to get more and more mainstream, get a college degree faster, cheaper, save the stress level, guys. You'll get four. If you really want to invest time, you can invest four years of college into a year and a half or less. You'll be basically all that four years that you spent, you're going to condense it into a year and a half. You're going to learn everything in a year and a half or less. Um, you're still going to learn all the same material. It's just four year college. They, they spread it out, you know? You take a lot of breaks, you spread it out, whereas you can learn it all in a year and a half or less and pass all these courses. But anyways, I will get into the screen recording here. Uh, American government history one and history two is part of most general education across the country as the history section. And these three courses would satisfy that, you know, uh, history section. Introduction to psychology, introduction to sociology, you know, these would, you know, all go towards general education here. Macro and microeconomics is required at some schools. It's requ required in most business majors, um, social sciences and history. So Western Civilization 1 and 2, if you're doing a history degree, you'll probably need this and this section. And then if you're not doing a history degree, some schools will probably let you do uh, these two courses instead of U.S. History 1 and 2, but it really depends on the school. You'll probably have to do American government no matter what. Uh, then we get down to composition and literature. And if you can do an English exam or an English essay instead of doing a full English course, because English classes are hard, guys. you got to write a lot of essays, a lot of writing. Writing burns me out. I know other people are different and maybe tests burn them out, but writing burns me out. So if you can take this here, uh, take a CLEP 
and get English out of the way, I think that'd be very beneficial. So a bunch of English clips you can do right here and humanities. I would, I would recommend doing a humanities clip because it, in my opinion, it's one of the tougher general education college classes. And then science and mathematics. Uh, make sure your college will accept this, but here we go with biology, uh, calculus, chemistry, college math, college algebra, natural sciences, and pre-calculus. And I would definitely recommend this if like you're doing a Bachelor of Arts degree and your degree doesn't have much math to begin with. Just take the college math class and get it out of the way. And that way, like for college, you have almost no math. So that would be pretty beneficial there. Uh, also, you can get biology and chemistry out of the way because that's required at a lot of schools, especially biology. Um, so get those out of the way. And then you have, if you're in a business, not every school will accept these. So like I said, you'll have to check. But if you're doing a business major, you have financial accounting, uh, information systems, principles of marketing, which I heard is one of the easier courses here, uh, introductory to business law and management. And then world languages, which would satisfy your language if you're doing like a Bachelor of Arts. So Spanish 1 and 2, and you got French 1 and 2 right there as well. So a lot of different courses you can do. These are $95 each. $95 each. That might seem like a lot of money, but compared to how much tuition is for one of these courses at college, like it depends on the school, but a lot of courses are at least $1,000 each when you go to college. So you know, a thousand dollars. So you're saving 90% by doing one of these tests. Not only are you saving 90%, but let's say you study two, three weeks compared to a four month class, you're saving 80% of your time as well. So, you know, you're, you're saving time, you're saving money. Uh, I think degree hacking is the future. Like I said, if you are not familiar with degree hacking, I go over plenty of degree hacking material on this channel. Most of my material has been online schools and how to transfer ACE credits into those. ACE credits are kind of similar to CLEP, except they're an actual course, but they're a course that is like really simple and you can get it done in like two to five days, depending on the course. Um, some are more harder than others, but you can basically do a course like every five days for very cheap and transfer in 90 ACE credits, only have 30 credits to do at your choice of university. Um, and that will work with partner schools. Like you can go to study.com and look at their partner schools and which, which schools will accept degree hacking, which schools will accept all of these ACE credits. CLEP, CLEP is a little more known and a little more mainstream actually um, because big in-person schools actually accept CLEP, a lot of CLEP. So CLEP is more mainstream and more well known. You can't degree hack as much as you would ACE credits with CLEP but it still makes college a lot easier and it still makes degree hacking possible. So I feel like most people do know at least a little bit about CLEP. Uh, it's not, it, it's not super mainstream. You know, it's not really taught much in high schools. Like, Hey, there's this CLEP option. It's briefly, briefly discussed. Um, whereas ACE credits is not like discussed at all. That's just something you have to discover on your own. But odds are, if you, you know at least a little about CLEP. Like even if you've never heard about degree hacking, odds are you know at least a little bit about it. So these exams are highly passable. Like I said, just study really hard two weeks and find some practice tests. You can find practice tests on study.com. Um, there's two different memberships to study.com. One is a non-college credit uh, membership where it's cheaper. And if you just wanna take like CLEP practice tests and like, like these mini courses, to really help you pass these exams, that that uh, that membership is cheaper. So I'll link both memberships down into the uh, in the description. But if you do want college credit, like ACE credit, and you plan on attending one of these online schools, then that membership is a little more expensive. Um, thirty percent. I have thirty percent off to both of those. So I will link that in the description. The I will check after this video. The the practice test one might be 20% off, whereas the the more expensive one is 30% off. But either way, I will link them in the description with accuracy. But anyways, guys, if you were if you're curious about CLEP, if you're curious about degree hacking, um, 
like I said, I have plenty of degree hacking material on my website. I've been doing this for nine months now. I have 100 videos. This is my 101st video, and I'm going to make many, many more videos on how you can hack college. Uh, maybe you're older and you're watching this for your, your child who's still in high school. Technically, your kid can get a degree at 18. He can get a bachelor degree. He or she can get a bachelor degree at 18 years old. So you do all these ACE credits from 16 to 18. You can also do clips like I'm showing in this video. Um, which is a very introductory video. I will be doing more clip videos and I'll be doing a deeper dive on clip videos. Um, I'll, I might have practice tests myself in the future. And also I will show you which courses are more passable than others um, and kind of like guide you through it more specifically. But these, this is a very introductory video which explains clip, uh, clips and how they work. So I might make a degree transfer map for clips on a lot of schools as well. So I will let you know if I do that or not. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have much more degree hacking material for you guys. Uh, if you're watching this for yourself, then just realize you can graduate with a bachelor degree from scratch, year and a half or less, for cheap. Uh, and also if you're watching this for your kid, you know, show him this video or her and show them that, hey, they can graduate college fast they can even have a bachelor degree at 18 or 19 if they do all the ACE credits while they're in high school. Like, it's very obtainable. So, anyways, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Uh, as I said in my previous video, this I've done 100 videos now, uh, a lot of hard work, um, a lot of content I've provided. So, if I've helped you in any possible way, please like, subscribe, and comment. At least one of those three would be very beneficial to me. When you do that, it tells the YouTube algorithm to recommend the video to somebody else who has never heard of me on their homepage. So when you do one of three of those actions, it really does help me out. When you do all three, then it really helps me out. So it's your choice though. You can do whatever you uh, please, but just know I'm always trying to help you guys as much as I possibly can. You know, I was the same. For those of you not familiar with me, I said this in my very first video a long time ago, uh, back in like last December. Um, I did the same thing I'm explaining. You know, I needed my job closed down during COVID and I needed a college degree. You know, I had no backup plan. And I was like, okay, you know, I've done some like some hobby coding throughout my life. You know, I'm going to go for a computer science degree. It's got good job prospects, et cetera. So I'm going to give that a try. And I was able to do that in a year, maybe slightly over a year. It was 12 or 13 months. I, I don't recall exactly. But um, I was able to do that with the ACE credits and with my time at the schools. It was about that time combined. And I was able to get my college bachelor degree in computer science. And I'm here to tell you, you guys can do it too if you want. You know, I researched like crazy during the pandemic. How can I get a legit college bachelor degree fast? I must have spent thousands of hours researching, thousands. So, you know, like... All the information that I researched, I like to share with you guys back. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please tune into my next video, which will come out in a couple days. Thank you so much.